Welcome to episode one of the video series, Yes, It's True, a thriving Amish community once existed in Butler County, Ohio. Let's start our story in the year 1984. In that year, an effort led by the Trenton Historical Society succeeded in securing the listing of a group of 16 structures on the National Register of Historic Places under the thematic title of the Christian Augsburger Amish Mennonite Cultural Settlement in Butler County, Ohio. Eleven years later, in 1995, CG&E, now Duke Energy, donated Chris Holm, one of those structures, and a 17-acre remnant of the original Chris Holm farmstead to Butler County Metro Parks. Through a restoration project, which was initially a joint venture of the Friends of Chris Holm, the Antique Machinery Club, and Metro Parks, Chris Holm became the most visible and accessible remaining artifact of a once thriving community of Amish. The origins of Chris Holm date to the year 1819, when a group of six German speaking Amish families led by Christian Augsburger emigrated to Butler County from the Alsace region of Northeast France to start a new life in the Great Miami River Valley. This group of Amish were the first in a wave of Amish who continued to emigrate from Europe directly to Butler County through the first half of the 1800s. The families and the influence of the group grew to such an extent that eventually they were farming nearly all of the land south and west of Trenton in Madison Township and parts of Milford, St. Clair, Wayne, Lemon, and Liberty Townships. Christian and wife Catherine's first home after arrival in 1819 was located in Milford Township near Collinsville. By 1824, Christian had purchased about 250 acres of property along Woodsdale Road south of Trenton in Madison Township. He built a stone house on a hill overlooking Great Miami, which was given the name Chris Holm. The original stone house was later destroyed by fire in 1873, and shortly thereafter was replaced with the present day Chris Holm in 1874 by son Sam Augsburger, the 12th of 13 children and a first generation child born in America. If not knowing the history of Chris Holm, you were seeing it for the first time and you were told that the origin of the farmstead is tied to the Amish, your reaction might well be, are you kidding? How can a home of this size, style and relative grandeur as a farmstead possibly be of Amish origin. The Amish characteristics of plain trappings, rejection of modern technology, and avoidance of influence by the outside world clearly seems at odds with what I'm seeing. Were there really Amish in Butler County? And of course, the answer to that question is clearly, yes, it's true. A thriving Amish community once existed in Butler County. In upcoming episodes, we will explore the migration of the Amish to Butler County their religious origins, conflicts that arose within the growing community, and ultimately what became of the community. Next up in our series is episode two, What's in a Name, Amish or Mennonite? Stay tuned.